But first, mm. let's get to the DC stuff. Black Adam has been removed from the release schedule, and all I can hear is the director in the back of my ear saying it's not coming you, out. You, you already texted me. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> he said, hey, yo, uh, I'm going to say, you know, right now, I told y'all that Black Adam movie wasn't coming. Oh, by the way, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, should, yeah. I should text him, like, <laughs> the movie is coming out. Yeah. They're just taking time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, you know what? I said, you know, you got to postpone things because of COVID. He said, I told you it ain't coming. Uh, by the way, how's the baby? And then he was just like, you know, yeah, I know Batman all of is postponed, but he didn't talk to Black Adam on the release schedule. Oh, the baby's fine. Get on my nerves. See, yeah, that's Adam, how it was. Wow. <laughs> wow. Of course. Okay. I was like, no, you're not getting this victory. But you know what? I, I, I let him feel like he's on top. I let him be on top of the soapbox. The soapbox would not be that large, but I let him be on top of that soapbox. As you always do. But <laughs> yeah, but I, I just, I just, I just sit back and wait. As honestly, not surprised that it's off the release schedule. To be honest, because this movie Ooh. has been planned since like 20, 2008. <laughs> I don't. Know. Look, it's been a while. The reason people gotta understand something, okay? And yes, it's off the release schedule. But I was like, but look, you gotta understand right now. Right now, we got you got to say if y'all follow what The Rock has been doing, The Rock just endorsed you know Biden and Harris. Yeah. Then he just gave his release saying that hey XFL's coming back in twenty twenty two. My man got his own football league. Yep, he do. All right, bought it right so, from Vince. Yeah, and then uh uh you got COVID that's still going this pandemic. Yep. Everything is being because look, they they try to come back to Hollywood, they try to go start shooting again. Look what happened. People start getting sick. Mm -hmm. You can't force something. As much as as much as everybody wants to say to go away, trust me, I am one of those people. I want it to go away. <clears throat> I want it to be done with it. it. It really ate up all of the all of the year. But you have to go about it the right way. It's not. It's not going to go away because the more you keep ignoring it, the more people are going to get sick. Right. The only. So that's. Huh. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying. If we was to do what we were supposed to do, if we was to have people that just listening, if we was to have that, you know, wear the mask, social distance, stay inside the house and all stuff for, for those months, and when we started getting back in July and they started opening up certain things, I'm like, if you just chill. Mm hmm. And let it plan out. Let the scientists do what they're supposed to do and get their work done. Then then we can find a way. Then by September, which I had called, we could be out doing even so much more than what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. Sure could. But no, we, we, keep, we keep pushing back. And we're the only country that keeps pushing these things back. So that's what happens. These movie schedules get pushed back. And then now if you're pushing the Batman back and you're pushing... You, oh well, we don't know about Wonder Woman just yet. But yeah. if you're pushing all the, if you're pushing all those things back, obviously Black Adam got to get pushed back too, right? And then so if it's all because right now they don't know what day right now, and probably the Rock is like, well, I got this football league going on, I got a show going on, I got other things going on. It's going to happen because they just they're casting people for this movie. Yep. You know, they're, they're casting people for this movie, and so it's going to end, end up happening. But now we think I release date, but the movie going to happen, okay? Yeah, it's going to I happen. I will not give him that. I will put my thick ass in a black in a black Adam suit and make something happen because I will not give the director this kind of credit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to happen. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Yeah. They said uh, because there's a I'm getting this from the rap.com part of another mass change uh, to movie releases brought to you by the upcoming COVID-19. Warner Brothers has announced Monday night that Black Adam based on the DC comic character starring Dwayne Johnson has been taken off schedule. It was slated to come out on December 22nd, 2021. Black Adam is now undated. It was just one of the several release date changes announced Monday night. The Batman as well directed by Matt Reeves starred in Robert Pattinson went from October 2021 to October 2022 we'll get to that in a minute um still untitled continuation of the Matrix series have moved up to from um I'm sorry moved down to April 2022 from oh wait I'm sorry I'm reading this completely wrong the Matrix moved up from April 2022 to December 2021 and then the Flash has been pushed back five months from uh June 2022 to November 4th so yes, and oh, uh -huh. they're making a Minecraft movie, which has been taken off schedule. <laughs> so, 
Oh, oh there you have it. You know, so, um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of schedule changes going on, as you can see. Uh, I'm not sure how to feel about us getting the Matrix earlier or at all, but it... Yeah, it looks this it's pretty sad. I'm I'm really hoping this movie comes out because from the DC fandom, it looked amazing from what they were presenting. And I'm yeah. very interested in what's about to happen in this movie. So um I'm just waiting for that you know, that trailer to come out with the release date and then I'm gonna text the director. I'm gonna just take a screenshot of it and just send it to the director uh-huh. and be like, We told you. Yeah, but no, but they, 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 but you gonna play it off talking about so I didn't I just said if it would come out I'll be happy, but I just didn't think it was. Well, yeah, it's not yeah he, he he did say that, so he gonna play that game. Don't worry, he gonna eat this boot. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the delay schedule, we uh little uh did dip into it is is Robert Patterson's uh the Batman movie or should I say Matt Reeves the Batman movie yeah uh, that was also announced on Monday it's going to be delayed from October 2021 to March 20 March 4th 2022 um that's not really surprising after the news of Robert Patterson getting the COVID came out yeah it's pretty sad because I'm, I'm shocked that they even released a trailer of what they had and they said they had like 25% of the movie done and then the trailer it was, looked a, it was, really a, damn, good. It was a damn good trailer yeah it was a very good trailer to get one fourth of the movie done so and now it's like now we're gonna get pushed back even further it's it's sad to hear because I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people really want this movie to come out I'm definitely one of them I really want to see this uh, but yeah I don't know how you feel about it I am disappointed as well because the trailer looks so good, which it got me excited for the movie. Still not mm-hmm. so as much on viral passion just yet, but I I was hyped for everything else that was going on in the trailer to kind of like match that Joker movie that we got in 2019. Right, right. Yeah, and it, it's it, it's just it just hurts me because it's just like this him getting COVID when he when they went back to production. Gave Hollywood to show that yo, it truly is not safe to do movies yet. Yeah, it's truly not safe to do movies yet to the point where now, ever since that happened, movie theaters have shut down. Certain movies have halted production again, yep. and once again, that's and and that's what you know comes of it now. And I felt as though that maybe they felt as though they they could probably try to finish it this year mm-hmm. or at least until early of next year, but now. They, they, you really got to wait to see, you know, how this stuff is going to clear up. Yes, yes. And I'm pretty, because, one, it's a lot more money than they expected to spend on this right yeah. now. So it's it's really sad to hear about that. Um, but hopefully we'll get the movie. Um, I mean, I'm excited for it, so we're just going to have to wait another year for it. I personally don't mind. We've gotten enough Batman movies within the last couple years to hold us over until then. Um, yeah, I get it. Next movie, Wonder Woman 84. That may be coming God, to I streaming service. It may, but but Patty Jenkins claimed that she, did, she put on social media that it's not going to streaming. Yeah, she's doing but, the, uh, <laughs> uh, Christopher Nolan right now. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm like, look, I'm telling you right now, I I want to see Wonder Woman Bay. I really do. Mm-hmm. And Wonder Woman was, I was more excited for Wonder Woman than she than I was Black Widow. Because yes. I, I already know what I was going to get from Marvel. I know Marvel's going to give me a decent movie. I know Marvel's going to... I already seen Scarlett Johansson, you know, do a lot with Black Widow. I, I just felt so it was going to be... It's going to be a decent movie. Right. I, but I, I was curious to see if Wonder Woman can capitalize, you know what I'm saying, on the success of the first one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they will. I'm pretty yeah. sure they will. Because the movie looks fantastic. I am nervous about the whole um, Fish Out of Water story and... Um, Trevor coming back. Was that his name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I was nervous yeah, about that. Yeah, However, yeah. I've never been a part of the the comic line, so I don't know what to expect. Unlike uh, Black Widow, gotcha. where I'm like, okay, I I can see where this could go. Exactly. So that that's you know that's the thing. I kind of just wanted to be like, all right, let's put it on streaming service. Let's put it on HBO Max to complement the release of the Snyder Cut. Mm-hmm. But I truly think they want to make their money. But but I I, I don't think cause see now with all the regal movie theaters closing in the United States and the UK, mm-hmm. 
you have now closed more locations. So that right. means now you're going to have less locations when the movie's open back up. Because now, right now, it's like AMC is the only one that's holding on. Yeah. You don't even know how long it's holding on, but you can try to find a way to make some kind of money back. Right. At least from trying to put it on streaming a little a little bit. Right, yeah. And that's the safest you know, way to go at this point. It, it's the safest way to go because it's not like, okay, you know, uh, election time comes up and say if we do elect somebody new that, okay, well, the virus is done. That's not how it works. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of time. It's gonna take a lot. Of, it's still gonna take a lot of time. Like they, it, they talk about, like for an actual re and research on a vaccine next spring. So oh we still exact. We still got time to deal with this, and that's until we get through the uh, winter time. And that's just how it is. And even if you know the person who we have now gets back in office, it, it's gonna be even longer. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be even longer. Yeah. So you know, uh, it's 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 a lot. It, it really is like it, I think right now you probably need to be like, okay, we're Warner Brothers. Like I can understand if Lionsgate don't want to do this, but right. when you're Warner Brothers or Disney and you have those behind your name, it can be like, let's just put this out, right? See what kind of money so we can get from the streaming services uh, with it, and try to make some money that way because we will always bounce back. Yeah, and. The streaming services are genius. I don't like a lot of people are against them, and I understand why. But streaming services are a blessing in disguise. It really is because you get all you get all this content for the comfort of your own home, and the excitement of getting something new out the bit out the bat. Because we're tired of watching the same old things. Yes, I love watching Office. I watch it too much. But eventually, I am going to get tired of it. So it does bring that freshness. Is like okay, at least something else is coming when uh-huh. we have uh, a new movie release. So I hope it comes out on um, HBO Max or just streaming. Period. Yeah. Because one, I'm I, I'm just ready for this movie. You know. <laughs> I, I I'm really ready for the movie. Where, where, like where's good bad? I, I'm really excited to just to just to see it and yeah. to check it out because I, I want to see. A DC movie that, that like I said, the last one I seen this year was the Harley Quinn movie, which was like to me it wasn't bad, but still it wasn't the one I was looking for. Right, I forgot all about that movie. Yeah, but it came out February this year. Yeah, I, I forgot all about that movie. I should, you know, give it a chance to watch it. Um, yeah, but the last one on the DC list is the Green Lantern series uh, gets green light at HBO Max, which we all knew was going to happen. However, uh, they're going to have a multitude of lanterns in this show. So that means Guy Gardner, Ooh, Jessica yeah. Cruz, Simon Bass, and Alan Scott are going to be uh, in the show. Excuse me, as well as um, Hal Jordan. And I am blanking out on the other. You name. better not break out one of the I best screen lanterns. I am lately. blanking out. Oh my God. John, <laughs> John Stewart. Stewart. John Stewart. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh no. <laughs> Drink some water, man. Oh, John uh, Stewart. Now the series will how you, include. How you remember Simon Bass, but not just... I, I'm, I'm reading. I'm reading. Simon, uh, I'm reading the names, and they do uh, not have Hal Jordan and uh, and John Stewart on here. Oh, I'm about to say, don't, don't forget twice. They said they said including. <laughs> so, uh-huh. um, but it also has Sinestro and Kilowog, uh, and they will be introduced as new heroes in the uh, Green Lantern Corps. So I'm I'm assuming they're going to just completely reboot it, just do like an origin story for it. Uh, are, are, are they going to put Q Flow's favorite Lantern in there? I did not see Kyle Rayner's name. Good. <laughs> I do not see his name. Wow. Even though I'm not I'm not a big fan of Guy Grunner neither. So I, why Simon Bass? That's where I. <laughs> The he to me is the worst lantern known to man. I'm about to say, hey, if you want somebody to play Simon Bass, hey, comment. We need you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Love. <laughs> um. So yes, they ordered ten one-hour episodes. The series would be co-written and executive uh, executive produced by Seth Graham Smith and Mark Gergerheim, uh, serving as showrunners. So. I, I I ain't got nothing to say about it to be honest. <laughs> like when, it's well, when is this supposed to release? Do you know? They do not have a date. So okay. If they're starting writing, I'm assuming that they're starting to write for this series now. 
Because yeah. at first it was supposed to be a movie, like a, a buddy cop movie. Uh huh. But now it looks like it's just going to be a series. And you know, the when usually when they order a series, they uh, write the pilot first, and then yeah. once it gets greenlit, they keep on going. So it's going to be written like around around this time it's going to be written so it's probably going to take some time before they actually start shooting so hopefully by then the uh beer bug is gone and we can get back in motion for it hopefully so i i really hope they i really hope it, it uh does that 